<laughs> yeah, that's as far as he goes. It looks like I'm on my own down here in the nasty, nasty sewers. Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome back to Half-Life, episode 4. Yeah, yeah, I wish it was episode 4. Heck, I'd be happy with episode 3. When is Half-Life Half -Life 2, episode 3 going to come out? You know, actually, I don't think it's going to be Half-Life 2, Episode 3. I think it's just going to be Half-Life 3, because they've waited so far now. All right, let's see. What kind of what kind of puzzle are we doing today? Boop! Boop! Bloop! All right. What do I do here? Uh, I think I remember this. Now I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna remember everything. I think some things are going to be. Uh, whoa! Hi. Hello. How are you today, good sir? May I interest you in some? Die. All right. What's this up here? Oh, that's that's charming. I don't. Why don't you come down here and? Well, you know what? I'm just gonna headshot you if you're just gonna stand there. Uh, can I get a headshot in on this dude? Boop. Oh, did you see that? I got it. I got him right in the head. Come on. Come on. Come here, little zombie man. I need to kill you in the head. Shoot you in the head. Head. Yeah. Okay, that's not working. All right. Um, what do I do here? I think I, I think I have to raise the water level. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're back where we started. Okay. Yeah. And I don't know if that breaks. Well, we can always find out. Let's take the crowbar out. Let's see here. If I turn this... Okay, yeah, that opens that. And then this right here... Alright, that does break. Alright. Can I kill this guy with a crowbar? Can I come up behind him? Yeah, he... Oh, look at that. He ragdolled down into the sewer. That's cool. Alright, so I'm on the other side of that grate. Alrighty. There's some awesome, awesome decal effects there. And a loading screen! Don't take too long, loading screen. I have to get on with the episode. Thank you. Can this break? Can that be broken? No, that cannot be broken. Hmm. Let's go over me. Hello? Hello? Oh boy. I hear something. I hear thingies. Also, I turned up the mouse sensitivity to... Uh... Five. I think... I think five was what it was, um... You know, I might want to use... Oh, hold on a sec. What does this do? Yeah, I think I also use raw input as well. Let me see here. Does that feel good? Yeah, that I think that disables the... Does that disable mouse smoothing in Windows? I do believe it does. Uh, no, I don't want any acceleration. I want raw input, 5... Yeah, there we go. I think back in my Counter-Strike days, I played Counter-Strike um, professionally. No, professionally is too high. I played it in, um, in Cal. I did play in Cal, but it was the uh, Open League. Uh, I was pretty good at the game, though. My my clan uh, won more often than they lost. And uh, my preferred weapon was actually the shotgun. I liked uh, running in and taking people by surprise. Uh, looks like we have some ammunition here, which I will happily take. Sorry, buddy, but I will put these... What is this? 9mm NATO, also known as 9mm Luger, also known as 9mm Parabellum. Uh, it's 9 by 19 millimeter ammo for this Beretta 92FS. I will make good use of it. But, uh, yeah, I liked the shotgun and uh, the, the pump-action shotgun, specifically. Uh, I, I could have sworn this door was going to open and I was going to be attacked, but I guess not. All right, let's F6 that. Got to F6 all the things. You know, it's kind of interesting. 9mm uh, ammunition uh, goes by a lot of... Di yep, I knew it! I knew it! What did I tell you guys? And I just had a feeling that was going to open because it was such an obvious thing. Can I safely go down here? 
Yeah, if I if I hold back, I can like slow myself down. Now I'm pretty sure that uh, oh, yep, more more head traps are coming down here. Uh, it's kind of hard to hit them as they come down. The bad thing here is that they're going to be left. Dang it. Looked like I was right on that guy. Oh man. Oh man. Ah! Jesus! You know what? I think I can probably take these guys out with the crowbar. Ole! Nah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be safe to crowbar these guys. Now, I do know a, a hound eye teleported inside that box right there. No, 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 no. Die. There we go. Uh, before I break these boxes, I'm going to... Let's see. I'm going to hold off on breaking them just yet, in case I need to, need to get up on top of them for something here. Do I need to get... Yeah, yeah, there is a stackable puzzle up there for the health. Uh, well, let's hold off on breaking stuff right now. Let's tell you what we need to do is we need to kill these head carbs. So anyway, uh, 9mm ammunition. Uh, when people say 9mm, it's a safe bet that, in, at least in the United States, they're talking about 9x19 Luger. Uh, which is also known as 9x19 NATO and 9x19 Parabellum, which is, uh, I think, Italian, which means uh, for war. Uh, but there is also a bunch of other 9mm uh, ammunition types. The cartridge uh, dimensions change. There is uh, 9x18 Makarov, which is for Russian handguns. And I do believe there might be a 9x17 nine by, nine by and like a 9x20. Uh, what that is, 9mm in diameter, which is the uh, how wide the bullet is. And uh, the 19 part is how long the, uh, the round is. And generally speaking, uh, the, longer, the longer the cartridge, uh, the more gunpowder it has and the uh, the more power it's going to have. Uh, now there's exceptions to that. I mean, you can uh, you can load just about whatever you want into a cartridge. I mean, you can have less gunpowder or more. Uh, and it, even within the same caliber, you can have plus P loadings or plus P plus loadings. Which means you're loading uh, more gunpowder and higher pressures. Okay, looks like I've cleared out all the head carbs. I don't think there's anything down in the water here. I'm going to jump down in here and take a... Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa! There is, there is a current pulling me. And there are indeed more head traps. Can I take them out with the... Maybe I can take them out with the crowbar here and save ammunition. Uh, where are they at? Oh, get up there! Dang it! I lost a little bit of HP for that. Where's the last one? I saw two. Nope. Uh, maybe he got killed by the, the crushing thingy down there? I have to kind of wonder what the purpose of this area is. Like, what... You know, other than killing me, the player, uh, what was this place supposed to be doing? Can I move this large box here? Now, had I... Oh, I should have jumped up on there. <clears throat> I should have jumped up on that thing as the elevator was coming by. I had forgotten about it. I don't believe, even if I do stack these boxes, that I'll be able to uh, get up there. Let's check. I'm pretty sure the answer to that's going to be a big fat no. Yeah. There is not... I don't think... Yeah. So whatever's up there, I can't get. That kind of annoys me. Well, I'm going to go ahead and break these boxes then. Oh, there was some ammunition in that one. Alright. And there was more, more ammo in there. Awesome! Oh, 
Well, I'm glad I wasn't running really fast. Uh, Half-Life is a game where you don't always want to run in recklessly. Uh, <laughs> uh, doing so is a great way to... I'm going to have to fix that. Uh, is a great way to get yourself killed. I'm going to have to go this way. Up and over. There we go. And uh, the Half-Life series generally is one where you, you need to have you know, your typical FPS Twitch skills, but also you need to be able to think and carefully observe your environment. And well, some people might complain, uh, you know, watching me, for example, that I might be going too slow for them. Uh, it's just part of playing the Half-Life series. Um, going slow and, you know, observing things is what you're supposed to do. And I swear, that is a loud... A loud noise whacking stuff at that crowbar. Uh, which way do I want to drop down? Do I want to drop down here? I've got a choice, I think. Or here. Does it matter? Uh, drop down here. I think I can just open this door. Yeah, okay. So it didn't really matter. Uh, are these explosive boxes? Ooh. Oh. Oh, wow. Whoa! Okay. So that thing is spitting some sort of green goop at me. I assume it is either acidic or corrosive. You're not being very nice. That's a bull squid, by the way. I believe that's the name of that enemy. Uh, and those are barnacles over there. Yeah. He's being very ornery and not very nice. Boop, 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 boop. And now he's dead. Alright. Uh, found a battery. Uh, looks like there's nothing back in here. Let's go this way. Alright. Um, this fall, if I step out on it, it appears to be stable. Alright. Uh, these creatures right here are barnacles. Uh, they are stationary animals that pull prey up into their mouths with this long uh, tongue appendage that they hang down. Uh, very popular with Japanese schoolgirls. And sometimes you can use them to get to areas... Uh, like to get like... Uh, you let it grab you and it pulls you up. And then up at the top you kill it. And then you can get to like some sort of hidden alcove or something that you otherwise would not have been able to get to. You don't need to kill them unless they're in your way. I think if I jump down here... I think the box breaks my fall. Yeah, okay. I didn't take as much damage. I could have jumped into the, into the water, I think. And there is a ladder here? Maybe not, actually. Uh, do I push these into the water? Okay, maybe not. That one just fell. I'm surprised. I thought that was... I honestly expected that to float. Okay. Nothing back here. Actually. If this... Okay, if this was Half-Life 2, then, um... He would have grabbed that barrel. Uh... What is that right there? That's a light hanging down. Can I shoot that? Nope. Top off my HP here. I need to get over there. I think what they wanted me to do here was... Uh... Oh, dang it. He got me. Actually, this is a great chance to demonstrate... Let me see here. Two, three, four. Let's just pretend that never happened. How about that? Uh, that was a great chance to me to screw up demonstrating. Can I make this jump? Oh, I can. Look at that. Um, yeah, I, I kind of screwed it up, but what I was trying to do was get up to the top and then let him fall down. 
let my character fall down on this little plate here, but whatever. I'm a derp. Uh, what does this take me to? Oh, that's the safe way down. Uh, okay. Alright. Uh, go ahead and get the 2 HP. Um, go. Let's push this in here. So I think what I can do here to get across is there we go. And there's one of those crusher things. What are this? What is that for? Like why? No, head crab. No, head crab. No, I'm busy. I'm trying to do stuff. I'm trying to platform. Whoa! What the heck? Because I can't get up this. No, I cannot get up that. Alright, come on. I got, like, sucked down super fast, and I don't know what that was. I think I goofed it. I don't think I can actually get up on this thing from here. Uh, let's go this way. There's a head carb here. Does my gun work underwater? Oh, yeah, it does. Uh, phooey. Well, it might be a moot point here. There's blood stain. Oh, yeah. Looks like I can just go this way. Oh, that's so cheaty. You're hiding inside the dead 3D model of the bull squid here. Bloop! Alrighty. Reload. Loading screen? I knew it! I knew there'd be a loading screen here. I believe I talked about this in one of my super hostile maps. I uh, don't remember which one. But uh, yeah, anytime there's a, a, a U-shaped turn here where you can't see very far, it's a pretty safe bet in Half-Life games that uh, this is going to be a loading screen. Now with um, advanced OpenGL in Minecraft, there's actually a point to doing this so that Minecraft, uh, when you can't see the next area, lets it unload. I believe that's how open, advanced OpenGL works. So in my maps where I have these uh, Half-Life hallways in between the areas, like you see it a lot on Legendary, uh, that's what those are for, is to try to save your computer's performance to make the map a little friendlier to lower spec machines. Okay, what do we do here? Let's go this way. And by the way, I feel like I sucked at shooting those head crabs coming down. Like, my accuracy was really bad. Even though the pistol is highly precise. Uh, yeah, very precise. Uh, I believe precision is a measure of the weapon. Accuracy is a measure of the shooter. So, uh, the gun the gun was doing its job, but I was not doing mine as the user. Oh boy. Dang it! Oh! Snarkies. Do I get a death message for that? Hello? Nope, no death message. Uh, try again. Uh, at least the game does seem to uh, be generous with the auto saves. I probably need to do that right there. There we go. Okay. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! It does not help when it starts moving as soon as you land. Ah! Okay. I think we're good. Can I make that? I can just walk off that. I think. Whew! Okay, only one death. Not a huge deal. Is there another loading screen here? There might be. There's Half-Life hallways. Go up the ladder. No? No loading screen? Oh, more Half-Life hallways. Wait a minute. Loading screen here? Yep! I felt it coming. Alright. 
Let's go this way. Hello? Oh, I'll, yeah, that's right. It's all that just to get through here. Go this way. Alright. And that's it! Uh, looks like that's it for this area. Gonna get another loading screen here. Solid state drive! Go! I remember... Office complex. Ooh. Oh, that's... that's great. There's a guy stuck in the ceiling. And some stuff on the floor. Oh, man. Very scare. Much suspense. Wow. Well, guys, I'm going to take a break here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a, get a bag of chips and a soda, and I'm going to maybe try and hack this elevator button here and charge up my HEV suit. So we're going to use this elevator as our base. And remember, in a zombie apocalypse, a, an elevator that's stopped bet between floors is a pretty safe spot to be in, according to the Zombie Survival Guide. But anyway, I will see you guys next episode. Until then, as always, take it easy.